I know, I know, here's another video talking about the changes with Facebook ads. It seems that every other month there is something critical that changes. Now, don't take it up with me, take it up with the Zucks. I'm just doing my part in sharing those changes with you. And moving forward, we're creating a series on all the Facebook ad changes starting today. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the recent critical changes that Facebook ads has made. But moving forward from September of 2020 onward, the series will continue periodically, but addressing only the new changes. This way we have a starting point, which again is September 2020. So this means that in the next video that I address Facebook ad changes, we're only gonna reference those changes that happen from now until that next video. So for the time being, make sure to stay to the end of this video because I'll answer the most asked question in the past two months. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's get right into the changes. The first one being the Facebook interface has changed dramatically. As you can see here, I went ahead and upgraded. I went ahead and changed my interface because I knew that that was coming. At the end of the day, depending when you're watching this video, chances are you probably have already been forced to change regardless. So you have two options. I chose the darker layout because I liked it and it's easier in my eyes. So the important thing here that I want to share with you is going to create and then going to add. That's how you actually get to your ad accounts this time. So in the past, you were used to this drop down arrow and it used to be right around here, but that's no longer the case. So whenever you want to get back to your ads manager, you can either go to business.facebook.com and that's going to take you there or you can just go up here to this little plus button right there and you're off and running. So that's how you get back to it. And I'll let you play around with the interface, but this is a big change that has happened. I mean, the big one that I wanted to cover as it relates to Facebook ads is right here, how to actually get back to your ads. So that's the first one. Now, the second change is this is a, this happened towards the end of 2019. So the fall of 2019, I know that we're a year removed from the special ad category, but since we just started this series, I wanna address the major changes that happen with Facebook ads. So going forward, only the more recent changes I'll, uh, I'll bring up in this series. So credit employment, housing, and now the social issues and elections and politics, that one's more of probably four months old that was added here in the special ad category. If you're running any type of ads that have to do with credit, employment, housing, and then the social issues, elections, and politics, then you do have to select that you're running an ad within this framework, within the special ad category, which basically means that your advertising filters at the ad set level will be restricted. So you can't target based off of age. You can't target based off of uh, demographics. You can't target based off behaviors. You can't target based off of gender. You can't target based off of, well, actually the minimum radius that you can get to is 15 miles. So those are the big changes that happened with the special ad category. At the end of the day, you're still able to reach those types of people, but you can't filter them out from the outset. So let me rephrase that. When you are running your ads here at the ad set level, you can you used to be able to filter out by age, by gender, and all that fun stuff and behavior, but that's no longer the case. However, since you're no longer able to do that, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not reaching the end people, the people that you want to reach at the end of the day. It just means that you're not reaching them from the very outset. So just understand that difference. Okay, so we're going to the next change and that is the phone call only ads. Now, if you run a traffic campaign, which is how we got to this screen right here and we're at the ad level, you can run an ad solely with your phone number, meaning whenever they click, they are on the phone with you. So that is what a phone call ad is and phone call only ad. So this is how you make that go. Now, if you've run Google ads in the past, then this is something that you're familiar with over on Google ads, but not here. So Facebook introduced this fairly recently within a few weeks ago. So phone call only ads are available. If you want to learn how to actually run them effectively, I have a video right here that's going to help you do that. So make sure you check that out. But this is a big game changer when it comes to Facebook ads because this type of feature was unheard of. You weren't able to do this with your ads, the phone call only. You used to have to have a landing page, a website and all that fun stuff, but that's no longer the case. So that is awesome. Okay. And now when it comes to the placements, this is kind of a twofer. 
the placements is something that has changed and one of those big changes has been the Facebook groups feed. So now you're able to advertise in Facebook groups. Now there's one key distinction here with the Facebook groups. You're not able to select which groups you actually want to advertise in presently. Now I do suspect that Facebook will change that. And in the future, you'll be able to select the exact Facebook groups you want to advertise in. But as of today, that is not a feature that you have available to you. But just be aware that the Facebook groups feed is a thing and you are able to select that as a placement so that is fantastic and when it comes to the placements i'm just gonna scroll down so you see everything so the facebook news feed instagram feed that's nothing new facebook marketplace that's about a year and a half old at this point facebook video feeds that's relatively new facebook right column instagram explorer messenger inbox facebook groups feed so you can see that the feeds has been increasing dramatically so in the past there was about four different feeds that you can select from but now you are what is that eight possible yeah eight stories facebook stories instagram stories messenger stories messenger stories is a relatively new ad in stream you have that right there search messages in article apps inside so i wanted to draw your attention with this change to the facebook groups feed but also just placements in general so as a reminder we're at the ad set level and if you don't select manual placements and go with automatic placements, which is recommended, or at least what they say, I don't recommend it, but this is what Facebook gives you. You're talking about advertising in all of these. So there's other videos in this channel that show you how to actually launch ads correctly. All right, so let's go to the next change. And that is the ability to split test at the ad level. And not necessarily split test from the traditional way of split testing that you're that you're used to, but you can add different ad copies right here. So you can keep adding ad copies. So one of five. You can again, it's a it's a it's another way of split testing, but not the um but not the way that you're necessarily used to. This is going to rotate and it's going to feed different headlines, different ad copies, different descriptions until it mixes and matches to something that um that you that that you're optimizing for basically so this is also in the traffic campaign so as you can see here we're at the ad level and you can select multiple ad copies right here as i'm clicking through and adding these you can add multiple headlines and you can add multiple descriptions to see which one would work best for your ads all right so let's keep going here we are at the business page so Whenever you're running ads, you do have to create a Facebook business page in order to run your ads. One quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video. I just need a huge favor from you. If you wouldn't mind going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like, that would mean the world to me. Thanks. So we're here at my test, um, at my test account and you see here the lead center, you basically have your own CRM on Facebook. This is a, almost a year old at this point. You have the ability of launching all of your ads and having them come into your lead center. Now this directly integrates with your lead forms, but you can add these. Um, if you're generating leads through, uh, let's say traffic campaigns, through uh, conversion campaigns, any other types of campaigns, you can manually import them here as well. So you can have a functioning CRM. Understand that this CRM is free, which is fantastic, but also understand that this CRM is not the most complex. It's just something that Facebook gives you. But what I really like about this particular CRM is that it directly connects to your lead form. So you have all the leads here in one place and you see that it has some buckets or some um, different stages. So raw leads, in progress leads, interested leads, converted leads, and it'll import them right there for you. Again, this will directly tie into your leads form. So you can work them from your Facebook directly. All right, so let's keep going. The custom audiences, I want you to see and take a mental snapshot of what the custom audience looks like today. As a reminder, this is uh, current all the way to September. The day of this recording is September 20th of 2020. So these are the options that you have in the future in this series. Let's just say in three months and six months or however um, many months from now, the changes that happen, I want to I want you to see the differences with custom audiences. So this serves as a timestamp of what you can expect with a, or 
how things have changed from your custom audience to the future. So right now you can target, you can create custom audiences based off of your website, your customer list. So you're uploading your list, the app activity, offline activity, based off of videos, based off of Instagram, lead forms, events, instant experience, Facebook page shopping, and on Facebook listings. On Facebook listings, as you can see on the right-hand side, create an audience of people who interacted with the on Facebook listings from your catalog. So this is the newest ad to Facebook. So again, this is gonna look different again in three months, in six months. So I'm very excited for this particular timestamp because as we know, Facebook continues to change and you have different versions, or I'm sorry, different capabilities, different targeting options, and custom audiences is a great place to start when you're doing your retargeting and um, leveraging the traffic that you already have. So use Facebook sources. Basically, this means that any Facebook item here, you're able to retarget the people that interacted with that uh, Facebook, let's say video, that Facebook lead form and all that stuff right there. So with the sources, you're talking about outside of Facebook. Okay, so I think that we understand that one. Let's go to the next change, the special ad audience. The special ad audience is basically the equivalent of the lookalike audience. As a reminder, in the past, you were able to run ads, well, let, let me rephrase it completely. You have saved audiences, which is basically a template of audiences filters at the ad set level that you want to run ads to. So that's the saved audience. The custom audiences is something that we just saw. You're able to create custom audiences based off of how they interacted with your website, your landing pages, or if you upload your database, along with the way that they interacted with your Facebook um, digital assets, whether that's your business page, whether that's your lead forms, your videos, or anything like that. So that was your custom audiences. And in the past, there was the lookalike audience that you were able to target when you were running ads, especially in the special ad category. I know that we're getting into a lot of terminology, but I go through that history because when the special ad uh, category was introduced towards the end of 2019, that lookalike audience went away. You weren't able to select that. So what replaced that lookalike audience was the special ad audience. So that's a long way of saying that the special ad audience was created specifically for those of you that are launching ads that have to do with credit, with employment, housing, and now social slash political issues and campaigns. So this special ad audience is taking a look at your custom audiences. Hang with me, I know that this gets convoluted. So we'll look at your custom audiences and create a special ad audience. It's gonna go into Facebook and look for people that have similar characteristics of your custom audience. So it looks at your custom audience and then goes back to Facebook and likes and finds similar profiles that may be good customers of yours, that may be good clients of yours. Now, the reason that um, the big distinction between special ad audiences and lookalike audiences, which again, they're kind of like their equivalent, the lookalike audience has a lot more data points that it's feeding in versus the special ad audience because the special ad audience was designed to not be discriminatory in nature because of different um, different privacy concerns when it came to Facebook, especially if you're running credit, employment, housing, and uh, social political issues. All right, so I think, um, I think we've covered that. If there's any questions, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like for me to go into more in depth about the special ad audience because it is worth taking a look at. All right, and the number one requested question for these past couple of months has been, where, oh where, Jaime, can I find that Facebook pixel code? I can't find it anywhere. I've looked at settings, I've looked at the history, I've looked at underneath my mattress, I've looked everywhere, but I cannot find my Facebook pixel code. So look no further, we're gonna answer that right now. And the reason being is here in the past two months or so, Facebook radically changed the ad interface, not just the Facebook interface, just to the general public, but the Facebook ad interface. So it's thrown some people off for a loop and I don't blame them because this has been the most significant interface change that they've done in for my money ever, for my money ever. So um, let's find out where that Facebook pixel is at. To get here, all you have to do is go to the left-hand side. Let me, let me do just one quick pit stop. Well, what were we talking about? To get to your campaigns, you would just go to your ads manager. 
to get to your custom audiences and the lookalike audience, I'm sorry, the saved ad audiences, which we just covered, you would go to audiences. And now to get to the Facebook pixel, which is where we're at, you would go to the events manager and you're gonna end up right here. Once you're right here and if you've already created your Facebook pixel, all you have to do is go to the add events, go from a new website and then click manually add pixel to the website. And here's where your base code is at. Here's where your Facebook pixel is at. It is that simple. So let me show you one more time. You're gonna go to add events towards the middle of the page from a new website, install code manually, and then all you have to do is click on that code and you have the code already in your uh, clipboard so you can paste it wherever you want, whether that's your uh, landing page, whether that's your website. This is how you come back to your pixel and find it. If you haven't created a Facebook pixel, it's actually easier for you to do that, but I have a video right here that's gonna show you the new interface, so be sure to check that out if you're trying to install your Facebook pixel, but the more difficult thing, ironically enough, was actually coming back here and finding it. But now you know exactly where to find it. These are the most significant changes to Facebook here as of recently. So again, I am very excited to have a timestamp of let's call it September of 2020 moving forward. And in about three months and six months, I'll share with you some additional changes from this point. I don't plan to go back in time unless there's something I, uh, I miss critically. So let me know in the comment section down below if there's something that should have been um, covered in this important Facebook ad updates. But moving forward, we're gonna cover everything from September 20th, I'm sorry, September 20th, I guess, 2020 moving forward. Well, now that you know all the recent Facebook ad changes, it's time to get back to work. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.